three times. It's a great way to clear our energy. And I'm going to remind myself and each of us for the next hour, we have nowhere to be, nowhere to go, nothing to be concerned about as we gather in a complete circle, we are all equal making this circle a complete round loving geometric shape of which I am very grateful. As we gather in sacred circle, in sacred space, I invite and invoke great source, great mystery, who is known by many names in many places. I call in the direction of the East, of illumination, of clarity, of the element of wind and air. I call in the direction of the South, of innocence, of transformation, who holds the element of sacred fire. I call in the direction of the West, of the waters, the sacred waters, of purification of our voice, of our minds, of our hearts. And I call in the direction of the West, the North, the guardians of the North, of the ancestors, of the elders, of the wisdom that in remembrance of each of us, that we all share the same knowing, the same heart-centered awareness. I call in Mother Earth Gaia, who grounds us and loves us in every minute of every day. Father Sky, Father Sun, Grandmother Moon, who is going to be full on Thursday, and Finally, I call in this sacred space of each loving heart of everyone who is gathered on this Zoom and on recording. And now our sacred circle is open to all beings. Blessings. Thank you. Okay. In a word or a sentence, let us all share what we are creating and co-creating together in this space right now. I'll call on each one and you can speak or chat or we will just hear what is in your heart. Starting with Tavita. Great light and harmony and peace. Unbounded, eternal, and infinite at the moment. Thank you. Lillian. A peaceful, balance, and loving new beginning. Sangeeta. A uh, lot of compassion, love, and harmony. Jen. Gratitude of the light that lives within myself 
and that I see within every being. Three. Compassion for our differences. Hmm. Is it right? mm. I like your notion of delight and wonder. I'm still delighted by sound. The hearing aids have, you know, re-enlivened my entire world. And I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I would contribute and do contribute to contentment and serenity. I'm just feeling the loving light flowing in the space. And from this space, I invite Tavita to help guide us into that space. Relax and get yourself very comfortable. Make sure that you're in a very safe feeling space around you and allow your shoulders to relax as you breathe in deep into your body and breathe in from your crown and allow the light from above your crown to flow into you with a vision of a color. The light is expanding around you and more and more light comes down into your crown to relax your eyes, your ears, your face, your mind. It flows down through your body. See and feel and sense a color or sound flowing down all the way through your body, your arms relaxing you deeper into your being, down through your heart, your high heart, your throat, and down into your stomach, intestines, down through your hara and through your feet, it flows down through you into the ground and around. And as it does, it opens the space within you and around you. And your consciousness flows with the light. No thoughts, just light and color. And you go deeper and deeper into your sacred space of your soul your soul connected to source, to the creator. All other things are disappearing as you breathe in the light. The light comes in through your body and around your body, more and more light. And with it, it brings a flower of light. This flower of light, we ask that it comes in and it holds on your forehead. Some of you have may taken it to your heart or your crown. We ask that wherever this flower resides, you expand it. You breathe in that smell and the fragrance of the flower. This soul essence of the flower goes deeper as it expands all the way down to your spine. The embodiment unfolds into the great beyond. It brings with it an expansion of your divine mind. It brings with it an expansion of light through your being and you can sense and perceive without even thinking that you are shifting into a new dimensional conscious awareness of soul 
ingrained light. That flower of light blossoms further, moving up into your heart again and expanding into the high heart above that. And it resides with fragrance and sound that begin to shift you into a new space, allowing energies that are around you to interconnect and unfold. That flower or another may appear on your forehead. I ask that you take the color and sound and allow it go deeper and deeper within you. Deeper and deeper. You are building a castle of light into your mind sense that opens into a lighter and lighter frequency around your crown and your being. This frequency opens further. It opens around your crown six, seven inches and a new flower pops in, opening and expanding with pure white light, deeper and deeper and farther. All of the past is flowing away and dropping out of your body, out of your mind. A point of light flows into your third eye, magenta. And with this, it brings unconditional love and joy. Feel it expanding through the particles of your beingness. You are source. You can create anything that your mind, your body, and your senses feel. You are a miracle of light, and you carry that within your coding and your presence on earth. We ask that you now expand it in us to breathe it in deeper and wider and further and feel that light going out from your body in strands of light around through the earth and beyond. You are the circle of light. You are the magnificent ember of light. You carry it. You breathe it. You are it. You are the music of light. And your voices will change. And we ask that over the next week, you begin to sing and use your voice in sounds that begin to come to you from other dimensions. There is no fear, there is just love. Do it wherever you are, by yourself, in the shower. We ask that you expand this conscious awareness into a new stage that you have not perceived before. You will be guided, and so it is. We thank you. We thank you. We will be with you. We are with you. You are with us. We are together one, and so it is. Thank you. A namaste. Bring your awareness back and open your eyes.
when you're ready. I would ask where you are, you just feel your heart opening and sense the divine light flowing out from your heart as you open your eyes and feel it passing to each one here in the circle of light. Thank you. It's very beautiful how spirit shows us the words which have so far been uh, just words to us and concepts. When I look at the screen of the Zoom in gallery view, I have to look for the face which I think is me. Because I just see all the faces here and any of them could be me. On the screen of God's eyes, we really are one. We really are the particles. I felt that when we were meditating today. The words that were coming seemed to be coming from all of you, from all of us together. I was just hearing it from everyone. And so I felt that space of unconditional love. There's such a beautiful silence there, but I love how you said there's also a song. That was very beautiful. And now for a while, we can be silent or if anyone wants to share how they felt while they were in that space, you can raise your hand to share. Or you could write in the chat box. And I'll call on you. And you can let me know if you're comfortable with being recorded or not. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that beautiful channeling. I, it was lovely. It was interesting that in the beginning, as we were being led to the colors. My colors were changing <laughs> rapidly. That it started off as magenta and then it became this beautiful indigo blue. And as it went through me, I could feel the expansion from each person present in, in our Zoom room and then I could feel the expansion coming from the light beings going out to the world. It, it was beautiful. And the sound, I, I hear for many years, I've heard this light airy sound in my ears. And, um, in younger days, I questioned that and thought I was making it up, <laughs> but I'm still hearing it. So I, I don't think I'm making it up anymore. 
And at the end, I always have tears come um, at the end of the meditation, but they are tears of joy, not of sadness. And my, my tears became colors and sound. It was beautiful. And I could hear the hearts of all of us present sending sound and love out to each other. And I want to take this opportunity to thank each of you for that. And to remember that we are just here, each of us, to remember what we've forgotten, that we're all the same, there is no separation. And I just feel very light right now. So much. Blessings to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Tavita. Uh, very, very calming meditation. And I just got lost in that flower of light, in that white light. And uh, I was just enjoying it. I thought it would go on and on. And actually, I don't even feel like talking right now. I'm so much into it right now. So it's very calming, very beautiful. And even if we are doing it on Zoom, uh, there is some positive energy in this group that I experience that draws me. This is to attend this session. So I thank each one of you. Uh, I'm feeling very good, very light, and very calm. Thank you. Sure. Uh, still like under the effects, like, <laughs> um, I think today, uh, I just, uh, surrendered to the whole thing. Um, and it's just this feeling of, uh, uh, peacefulness and enjoyment in my part, uh, was a, a very, uh, Intense, but very calming and uh, peaceful. I think that's all I have. Oh, I have one more thing to share. Uh, in the beginning of the session today, uh, like Savita was talking about, uh, when we feel uh, down, overwhelmed, uh, take a picture of um, a flower or crystals. Um, to, like right now in my life is a time of uh, a lot of changes uh, not down but kind of a little intense uh, but um, what makes me feel like looking to a flower looking to a crystal is this time here right now that I'm sharing with you you are my flower or my crystal that is to me right now that's how I feel I thank you so much and to each one of you, your presence, your light, and I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Um, no, I just agree with everything everybody else said. There's nothing really much more to add. It's very peaceful. I like um, the one person said about just wanting to stay in that space and um, just, just, I guess that's all. I'm resting. I'm resting. There's, um, it's interesting, I guess, for me that, that the, uh, the overwhelming sense of the feminine in this group. I mean, I'm the only guy here today, and I'm enjoying it, but I'm also very quiet. 
Uh, and I'm I'm kind of just resting in uh, the ease of it. And one of the things that uh, I I have a sense of more max masculineness, you know, a kind of edginess or sharpness, and uh, it's absent this one. I appreciate that. So I'm resting quietly and enjoying it. I'm still in that space. I haven't left it, so. Okay. We are, we are training our energy systems, our consciousness, even more than energy, our consciousness. Uh, to be always in, uh, to know that we are always in all those spaces all the time. Because uh, the meditation itself is going on even before we came here, it had started. And, and it just continues. And that going in and out of those, our awareness goes through all the layers of consciousness. But the meditation goes on. It's like the song that just keeps going. I'm also feeling, you know, also, again, today I saw why it is that meditation is so important. Uh, when we when we make that space to to do something like this because so many people in this world suffer from addictions of many sorts it's not only physical mental addictions even as we were talking uh, before we started there's also an addiction to having good relationships i will also talk about addiction to peace or peacefulness what we consider peace, outside peace. And many people have allowed outside peace to create inside troubles and monsters. Because many times we have, we have just tried to keep the peace which we thought was uh, no shouting outside and took all the, all the shouting inside us. So I think this is also a time because fall is coming in the Northern Hemisphere and most of everyone here today is in the Northern Hemisphere. I think it's a very good time to rid ourselves of some of those addictions. As we were talking before the, the Zoom started, as Tavita was also saying, that we, so I'm thinking of what addictions or what are we ready to let go of? And if everyone is ready to share that, maybe we can have a round of that. And this one, we need not record. Thank you. So today we end this beautiful circle, thanking this season for giving us everything that we are now let, ready to release. We release and we feel blessed and radiate out these blessings to the world. Uh -huh. Amen.